Hi guys, so it's a great day for Pulse Mobile lovers because Konami just announced that Pulse Mobile 2020 is going to be available from October 2019, you know, so that's a great news and they give us all the information about the Pulse Mobile 2020. So I'm just gonna tell you the important updation in Pulse 2020. First of all, in plus 2019, there were three types of players in the game, right? In the base player, the feature player, and the legend player. But in 2019, plus 2019, there is a new category of player will be added, and it is called the carry over player. What is carry over player? When the first hit is in the mobile goes updates goes live, all base players and feature players that you want in plus 2019 will automatically be converted to carry over players so which that means the players that you have now is actually the carry over players in plus 2020 and the appearance position skills tactics and other player data of carry over players will be the same as that of a base player and also uh, for carryover players, you will earn more GB by releasing carryover players than other types of players with uh, comparable overall ratings. Carryover players will have their condition rating fixed to C, you know, same as the legends, and will not be impacted by live updates. Okay, that's an important point. And carryover players cannot be used in certain or only events. That's a bummer. And carry uh, carryover players may receive a lower bonus than other player types in certain online events. So keep that in mind. And of course guys, ever since the feature players introduced, everybody keep asking the same question. You know, are they going to be in Pulse 2020? They also answered that. If a feature player you obtained in Pulse 2019 is included in Pulse 2020, his player data will be updated to data from September 2019 and he will be automatically converted into a carryover player when the update goes live. So, feature player is a good thing guys. So, basically for example, if you have a featured Mbappe, in 2020 he will become a carry over in Barbie. so that's a great news guys so <laughs> that's a great news and if a future players you obtain in plus 2019 is not included in plus 2020 he will be he will be exchanged for for a random base player of the same rarity and registered position from those featured in plus 2020 and you will not be able to select the players that you received to this exchange mechanic they, they, so they just basically give whatever they want okay so basically guys <laughs> all the players who didn't pick feature players or converted to trainers i feel for you guys gonna be just trick to you and the other important change in plus 20 mobile is the player levels and overall ratings in plus 2019 level 30 represented the base level 11 performance of for all players in the game you know that right and since most players in PES are saying at level 1, the baseline base to level 30 meant you were tasked to the leveling a weaker version of each player until they reach their true potential at level 30, right? You have to train them, you know, to at least, you know, to reach their true potential until level 30. And in PES 2020, the baseline, the baseline level of performance for players will be changed to level 1, okay? If you, so, if you get a player, you will always in, in that true potential. And yeah, that's what it's saying. Showing that all players perform their true potential from the moment you sign them. That's a great thing, right? And you will uh, you will still uh, be able to improve their performance by leveling them beyond their baseline, thereby increasing their stats and overall ratings. And this new change simply means that when you sign a player, he will start playing as true of himself. No assembly required. That's a great thing, right? Konami here saying that everything will be announced on the official website in late September 2019 and any player, scout or manager that falls under this category will no longer be obtainable from the date of the announcement. So only one month to go man. The score you made in PS 2019 will not be carried over and the player and manager data will be updated when PS 20 goes live meaning that all scores will be reset. Yes, but you will have a limited time to do so and please note that 
the players signable by each agent may differ depending on when you use them so be sure to check the list of available players before using your agents sadly no the effect of new player skills items and position boost item used in persecution and in players will be nullified by the update also no the effect of management skills boost items used in First 2019 matches will be nullified by the update. So, sadly, no. So, guys, these are the main updates for Pulse 20 Mobile. And personally, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. It's going to be awesome. I hope it's going to be awesome. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. And see you guys on the next one.